Hi, it's Vince McConnell with McConnell Athletics. We're going to demonstrate phase two of the scapular shoulder health program that we use not only with football players, but with all of our athletes. In this phase, we're going to utilize, once again, the FT band by Superflex, and we've attached the handles, also the Superflex handles here that attaches by a simple carabiner. This is a number three FT band. I find that that works best uh, for most athletes, but you can drop down to a number two. Now, each of these exercises in this phase is going to be one side at a time. We're going to attach the cable up top, and we're going to anchor it on the middle part here. And once again, we're using the wall unit here. You can improvise, and as long as we're going in a pattern on this first exercise, down and across, we're good. So make sure that band is secured. Uh, securely here, but what you can also do is attach up top and then hold the opposite side with the free hand. So since we do have the wall unit, we're going to use it. So we're going to take arm across and we're going in a diagonal pattern, arm extended, and think high, low. Now with each of these exercises, we're going to target approximately 10 reps. I'm just going to show a couple of reps here. That's on the right side. We're going to switch it over, hit the left side. Once again, keep your hips stable all the way through so there's very little compensation going on, if any at all. So reach across and finish in the same position each time. So we hit 10 on each side, and we're going to drop the band down, and we're going to go in basically a horizontal plane of motion. Once again, anchor the side that we're not working on the band. And just as we went here, we're going to go straight across, start with the arm all the way across the center line of the body, and then out and away. And again, 10 reps, switch it over. Arm extended, 10 reps on the other side. The third and final position is going to be, we did high to low, we did straight across, now we're going to go low to high. So again, the band loops around the bottom part. Then we can take it up and over, reach across. So again, every rep identical. We switch it over. That's exercise number three. Now we're going to double the band up. So we'll have all four strands. So we only need one handle with this. We're going to connect it, the anchor point, straight out in front. And we're going to do a scapular row where we're initiating from the scapula, then we're going to actually go into what would look like a conventional single arm row. The key to this is not so much about overload, it's about control at this phase. Now it leads in to a workout where you will be using substantial load. So we're looking at this as purely about getting the muscles that we want to activate, to activate properly so that it has carryover into our bigger moves. So the arm is extended. Now notice that the initiation is going to be from the scapula and then finish. And again, we're not concerned with how much load here. We're still going to hit just 10 reps. So initiate. Do the same number on the opposite side. We're reaching from our mid-back as opposed to just from the shoulder. So you want to go forward, arm extended. There's some tension in the band here. We don't want any slack in the band. So you want to be far enough back so we have tension all the way through. Initiate. Finish with the elbow just at the ribcage. We're not trying to yank it all the way back. Matter of fact, we don't want to do that. It's here, elbow to ribcage. Final exercise, once again, is going to be single arm. I'm just going to show you from the left side here, better view for the camera. We just did a pull, now we're going to do a push. I want the feet parallel, so we're working some core stabilization here too. Elbow at the rib cage. Now we want to pack the shoulder down and then just simply press out. And again, this is not going to be anything that's going to challenge you from a strength aspect. We're not looking for that right now. We want to concentrate on the right muscles doing the work. This will carry over to any type of pressing move that you do, whether it's push-up, bench press, you know, anything of a pressing nature, this is going to help that. So again. Lock it in, bam. Full extension, hold for a count. Concentrate on every repetition being the same rep speed. We're not just throwing it out, it's not a punch. It's press out, engage, press out, engage. Obviously the same number of repetitions on each side. That's phase two, we'll be back with phase three.